How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> this is uh, going to be the last show of an incredible week. We did have a four o'clock, but uh, they had to cancel, and we're going to pick them up on Sunday. I think we're going to go ahead and do a Sunday broadcasting since we missed Tuesday. Um, so we're probably going to, we had a couple of people cancel, or, or that I had to cancel on Tuesday. And so, and then this couple that was going to come on this afternoon, we'll probably do on Sunday. But we still have a fantastic, uh, beautiful, beloved sister about to sit down with us. Everybody knows Sandra Walter. She's been out doing this for many, 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 many years. And uh, utmost respect, big props to her for what she's done. And uh, it's always great to sit down with her. So I'm going to pull her up now. And I was uh, remembering just a while ago that it was two years ago uh, in two weeks on May the 30th, I met Sandra Walter for the first time in what was the seventh anniversary of Sology. Uh, and she, on very short notice, came on, and that will always mean a lot to me because I didn't know her. And we were just kind of building this thing at that time. So it was a great show, and uh, I, en I enjoy collaborating with her. All right, let's get her up here so you don't have to look at my ugly face the whole time. Let's see. How's that? What's up, beautiful? Hey, love. How are you doing? Can you see and hear me all right? Yeah, you look fantastic. You oh, look great. You you're doing? you're back in Sedona? I am. I saw that. I, am. I saw that. I am in Sedona for the rest of the year. Are you really? How crazy is that? Well, I'm hoping that uh, I've set the intention. We're heading out uh, the 28th. We're going back to Arkansas to get back onto the building the network and uh, a good place to be, you know, centralized place so we can move around. Anyway, Judith Kuzel was on yesterday and uh, you know, we've done a few shows together and uh, she's going to be in Sedona in I think most of August. And then she's going to be in Shasta in September. So okay. she's coming over. So I said, well, if you're going, Sandra's there, Shakina's there, I'm going. I'm going to set my intentions for, for September. So you didn't, you didn't stay too long in Shasta, did you? No, that was just a check-in for uh, yeah. the Equinox. I was there for three weeks and then, um, you know, just doing some gate work and prep work and a lot of freedom stuff going on. Oh my gosh, brother. There's so much going Isn't on. Isn't there? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> the, I, well, the last time we talked you were, I think you were just about to head over there. I think that's what was oh, going wow. on. Yeah, yeah, I was right there. And yeah, and this stuff was just coming out and you had such a, as you always do, you had such a good take on everything, like, you know, uh, zero point, you know, staying balanced, staying out of the, of the, uh, you know, the little to do's going on and everywhere. But I, I've been, I, you know, I do, I don't follow anyone religiously, but I always pick up your stuff because I get your email and I love those decrees, by the way, because I think it is important to make these statements and statements to we're programmers. And, and then uh, I really liked the newsletter yesterday, which talked about uh, the neutrality, uh, the um, what's the word? Not, not the uh, forgiveness, forgiveness uh, clemency, clemency. Yeah. That part of it. I talked about that on the shows yesterday, oh, the good. clemency part of it made a lot of sense. I mean, I was like, okay, yeah. Keep this perspective. And then you've got some something coming up tomorrow too, don't you? Yeah, I'm teaching a Stargate class <laughs> on the new Stargate system, which is so fun. It's like it's like upstairs is landing in so many physicalized ways this year, which was the whole the whole point of what's going on with the dismantling and everything yeah. like that. It was dismantling, physicalization of the etheric, complete breakdown of the old systems and rise of the new and quantum and zero point and um then this week is so oh my god it's such a turning point brother i don't know i had like divine mama is back okay so <laughs> here we are i see this is crazy right so we we, we got it to last weekend and there was already this she looked at the schedule because look at all these powerful women like how did that happen and and and, and then we'd like looked at each other and she and she's tuning in she's like oh there's something going on something's happening so monday 
I did Franco and a couple of sh- a couple of ladies. I can't remember who they were. And I wake up Tuesday and Magenta had gotten a migraine. She was the first show. And then the second and third show, I couldn't do. So like I knew right away, like you're not going on today. Mm-hmm. Like something's going down. And then mm-hmm. everybody was reporting the same thing. And it was so funny because I get up Wednesday and I had four four shows or five shows and I had forgot to put the first lady on the schedule. So Morgan hits me up and goes, aren't you doing the show at 12 with this lady? And I'm like, oh, I didn't know about it. So I ended up, long story short, doing the show with her 30 minutes late. And I never met her before. She's from Germany and she lives in Scotland and she's doing the work and all that. Anyway, she has this this accent, this German broken English accent. Nice. And and so when I got on, I just, I didn't even greet her, you know, I just was rushing and I said, Hey, I said, what the hell's going on? And she said, I don't know. I think the divine feminine just jumped on an effing rocket and shot into the stars and she's in her, she's back in her full power now. Mm-hmm. And that statement mm-hmm. just like set the tone for all the shows, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. I was like, that's it. And, and, mm-hmm. and, and from what I'm picking up, and obviously you're, you've got the intel on this, this is what's happened. It's actually happened, you know? Yeah. And I know like in the past, maybe four years ago, uh, started writing articles about we have no idea what it really feels like to have the divine feminine, divine mother, cosmic mother in our fields and our, our DNA and everything. Like it's a completely different state of consciousness. So we were warned, like, as you level up, as that energy returns, as those new Stargate flows, because it's all Stargate related, you know, there's a brand new Stargate system since January 13th, organic flows coming into the planet of restoring resurrecting you know recalibrating all this stuff and it's it's a completely you know trying to describe it to people who haven't experienced zero point because very connect very connected like there are beings humans now who are able to tap into zero point and i've found like especially just in the last couple months since this stargate thing happened in january Mm -hmm the ability to get into zero point and have like a pure and true experience of that. It's so radically different than anything that came before this year. Mm. I'm, I'm even, I am surprised, you know, cause you're consistently trying to get into that absolute stillness because yeah. that's the, the point of creation. That's when everything shifts. And now like the, the ability to get in there and sometimes like, I'm just disappearing and kind of flying around the Taurus, around the sun of my heart. You know, I'm just like, mm. okay, this is cool. You know, it's just really, um, but but to be able to just go into that absolute zero point and then we're learning, we're getting our creator skills back this year, which of course is part of our DNA. It's been shut down for a long time. Mm. So that comes with responsible creation and the return of all these energies. And as long as we can anchor that, we get more of that flow. And this week was like on the gate radar for um, the 15th, 17th, 19th being like key points. And the gates always open three days before, which was Tuesday. So everybody was having these wild experiences on Tuesday. A lot of like, mm, and it's DNA related too. It was like divine, this divine mother wave um, came in and just like kicked the dominoes. <laughs> you know? It, it, did, like, it was kicked the end of the dominoes. It was like all this stuff starting to happen. It's like you can't. It can't be stopped now. I mean, you know, if, if I go back a few years, you know, you would see, you would see women post that she's stepping into her power. She's back on the planet, you know. But th- and I guess everything has levels. But this time. It was like done, you know, it's not even game on. It's like game over, right? I mean, it's just like, this is like a, somebody turned on a hose and it's just not going to stop. There's nothing you can do about it. So the impact of that is going to be really interesting. And, and we have to relate it to the freedom code activation that started last year. Yeah. That shifted everything. And now, of course, if you're, if you're keen on what's happening behind the scenes, a lot of freedom happening, right? 
So yeah. people who are treating it like personally, like I don't feel freedom, you're not getting into the cosmic perspective of what's going on on the planet right now. You got to realize that it's um, it's like the Titanic, women and children first. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, there's a there's a lot going on, you know. Mm. So we're as those um, freedom codes start start physicalizing again. It's a physicalization of stuff that's happening in the etheric realms. Um, there's there's a lot of freedom going on, and that means you get more of that higher energy, more of that divine mother compassion. Again, that's why I posted forgiveness, clemency, and divine neutrality are really strong gifts right now because there's a lot of sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that look like they're still here that are gone already. All that stuff. Like you can't judge books by their cover at all right now. Wow. It's completely, it's, it's, you know, it's part of the game and part of the cover and, and there's, there's a lot going on. So try not to take things at like weird reactionary yeah. um, emotional levels. Okay? Yes. You know, yes. Just divine neutrality, because that's where your power is. Yeah. Your zero point heart will, will be in its wisdom. If you can stay in a state of if anybody asks for clemency, they're, you know, if you want to get on board, jump now. And that was like a big message to a lot of beings last week. Because again, this divine mother kind of hitting the dominoes. It's just like, are you going to be in line with the dominoes? You, you really want to get knocked over? Mm -hmm. Okay, jump now, you know, kind of thing. So, and we can see, I mean, that just, again, the 15th, 17th, 19th being these trigger points for some of these um operations let's say and uh and we can see it i mean i just posted about it on facebook so people can figure it out i'm not at liberty to talk about that but it's uh i'm, I'm just like read the signs people yeah <laughs> well your, your dates they line up with franco's uh, i think those are the same dates he talked about i think there was either four or five days like yeah. every other day so this yeah, is for day. you this is the today's the 15th so two more two more days coming and a lot more uh yeah i know you obviously you've you've got some information there <laughs> i'm gonna try to telepathically pull it out of your head no, i'm just kidding but it's 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 huge and there's been several people on who have come on who have the type of connection that you do i guess or in that same neighborhood and and uh and so they've said when I've looked at or I've asked, what's this going to look like? And the answer they're getting is like, uh, well, we can't even explain it to you because you wouldn't even be able to comprehend it, even where you're at right now. Like like right. the level of change, and I can feel it, is, is yeah. like, a, we don't even, uh, there's no way to even gauge it. There's nothing to compare it to. Well, that's the thing the more of that zero point energy that we that we anchor in our own experience by being calm by doing the meditations by practicing our mastery skills by holding the putting all the focus on the light and the good and moving forward and and, and being extremely present and creative mm -hmm. you know expressing the the higher light um that's the thing that's holding the balance so so these things can unfold with as much ease and grace as possible but that energy uh is so quantum and the things that we that we see are, are so good i mean it's just you can't i can't really express like oh my gosh people this is so you're just watching the puppet show yeah look at the bigger thing yeah the bigger thing you know it's like it, it's don't don't worry people who worry energize those lower agendas yeah you know like i you don't even speak its name you know like yeah. you really got to learn and that's that's a good lesson for everyone this year too and what all of my my teachings and sharings and everything um after this eclipse passage that we go through everything is focused on the creator state of consciousness how to teach you know teaching people how to be responsible creators how to create again we're creating entirely new realities that are so above and beyond even what was predicted for ascension mm -hmm. you know and that's the thing 
if we can unify and it's got to it can't be one gatekeeper here one gatekeeper grid worker no. there it's got to be unified so that's part of the lesson with everything that's going on now is unity and and really producing a very i was trying to describe this too oh they to just say. you just moved up and i could hear you more a couple of people were saying they couldn't hear you i can hear you fine but I, microphone right there ah, there you go <laughs> Okay. Uh, I didn't want to block. Sorry about that. Yeah, that yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. So um, I was trying to describe this to someone the other day. I was like, you know, in 2013, we were handed the the rule book. You know, like what, how this, how this thing was unfolding, how others were planning on unfolding this thing. So, so we were kind of thwarting every operation. Um, that was on there, but because those beings, let's say on the other team were, um, you know, they're not creators, they just manipulate consciousness. Right. So we were like, but they're really good at it. And when you get divine humans involved in putting their energy into, yes, you know, the, so it is thing, this is going to happen. They're going to do right. this, all that stuff, you know, agreeing to it. Um, we were like, all right, so how can we, because that is a creation, because it is a timeline that's been very energized by humanity and by all these, you know, all these other ceremonies and everything like that, you take a look at it and you go, okay, how can we not honor that, but how can we, um, it's got to play out somehow. So how do you do it with the most ease and grace as possible and make it as beneficial to the ascension as possible and that's what we're getting right now massive great awakening going on and people standing up and voices <laughs> and choices and restructuring and dismantling and everybody sit down and reevaluate your priorities i mean it's really it's yeah. brilliant it's brilliant it is. The way it's unfolding it is energetically it's it's magnificent and that's what I, one of the things i really liked about that article you just put out when i talked about the clemency because, I mean, I try to look at everything, you know, I think we all try to, or, you know, to, to look at everything from the higher perspective. I don't, I don't really get rattled with the stuff that's going on anymore, but, but there's a little difficulty in trying to uh, connect the dots when it comes to the bad actors. Let's just put it that way. How, you know, how, how does that work? And, and that was very well explained um, about the clemency that I read yesterday. But the, the whole article was. The whole article was right on time. A, a good That's a good voice and a good article in um, what seems to be a chaotic time. I don't really see the chaos, but I also know that this all this energy moving around is birthing something. I think that's what came in this week or allowed her to come back in yeah. because that, that was in, unarguable. Yeah. And I remember having that experience with Gaia in December when all that intel's coming in about how the how the year the possibilities for the year and people can do this now too you know if you really want to be of assistance to what's happening right now put your hands on the ground yeah. go outside on gaia con connect to the the earth itself the vibration the higher crystalline grid that landed a couple years ago really tap into that and just say over and over again freedom yeah. freedom freedom because it's written into your dna for that to activate but you're not doing it everybody's in service right mm. so you and your journey are a side effect of the connected thing that happens so when you go into service and you bolster everybody's journey uh with activating freedom codes and everything of course you're activating your own but it's it's a, a unified effort so you might as well contribute some positive energy but Gaia was I mean back in December too it was the day before solstice and just this huge wave she's like I'm going to reveal this year reveal and it was specifically revelation and that's revelation of new earth of different realms of a different state of consciousness of her divine beingness that landed in 2012 I mean all of that she's like I'm going to reveal going wow. to reveal and it was just it was overwhelming i was just in tears because it's it's beautiful and i had that experience again and on uh mount shasta when i was there um for the equinox in 
well, it was before the equinox, mid-March, when all that freedom uh, operations were happening. And I was just weeping because for those of us who have been working on that stuff, to see it start yeah. to really accelerate um, is just glorious. Glorious. Yeah. Because you know, like, all the players fall, you know, when... when and you have to... I reminded everyone at the beginning of uh, the article this week, too. Um, and if somebody's looking for just it's forgiveness clemency and divine neutrality but it begins with a reminder hey in case you haven't done that yet and you want to oh, take yeah. care of your territory remember that this thing again when i'm talking about like parallel storylines using this to the highest advantage also means all of the energetic places all the places that were being used as an energetic supply for negative operations churches schools malls <clears throat> amusement parks now's the time to unplug and clear all all those spaces i mean this is very purposeful because when you yank out the energetic supply for all the stuff that's been going on that that assists right so you want to clear those spaces yeah yeah and there and that's being helped along isn't it with this quarantine you know extremely of, purposeful yeah you cut off somebody's food supply yeah. Hmm. Yes. The, I, I think given everything that's going on, this one thing that's impressed me about the entire population, you know, uh, it, with what you can piece together anyway, but I, I'm just amazed that there's not, uh, you know, mass chaos. I mean, people are actually pretty chill. You know, I know there's quarantine. I know there's little things that are being put out there, uh, you know, with, you know, let's just say intentional propaganda or, or in, 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 in emphasizing the negative or whatever you want to call it. But but for the most part, I mean, even just walking around, people are just chill. People are riding their bikes or going for walks. Yeah. Even when you go to the grocery store, you see a little bit of paranoia, but it's people are really chill. And, and I'm yeah. listening to people tell each other, be safe, you know, as they say goodbye to them, be mm -hmm. safe. I'm like, whoa. You know, I heard yeah. that yesterday, and then I heard it again. Yeah. And, and you can it, even take a look at that, Todd. You know, it's just like, imagine, like, that in itself is evidence of a completely different vibration permeating the collective. Yeah. Imagine if this had happened back in the 80s. Mm. Chaos. Mm. Right? You it know, would have been. This, I mean, everything is yeah. just so divinely timed. It's yeah. just really, and, and for us to witness, too, yeah. a completely different vibration completely different vibration happening now yeah i was talking to mary rodwell last night and and she's she said she was ex i mean really excited i mean all these women that have come on this week there's just like something going on they're all glowing you know and it, <laughs> all right and so and she's really funny and so she we were just talking and she said in her direct way she said if you know i chose to come down here and I can tell you, I may not have full recall, but I would not have agreed to come down here if it was going to remain the way it's been. You know, oh, yeah. I did not come down here for that. You know, uh, yeah. I came down here because we're going to be, we're a part of this huge transformation, this huge mission. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, exactly yeah. what you're saying. Otherwise, what would be the point of seeing exactly. a whole bunch of beings exactly. that would be able to do this yeah. and to way show this? There would be no point. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then the thing you said about Gaia, you know, I was thinking about that because, you know, I, I, you know, put a lot of stuff in front of me just to take the information and in just to kind of, just kind of how I operate. And so you see a lot of stuff about, well, we need to clean the ocean. Uh, we need to do this. We need to do that. And we need to do this, which is all legit. But I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, this thing is like really like just got a kick in the, you know, I mean, this is like, whoa. Now, if it's happening to us, enough of us collectively, and it's happened to Gaia, then we might we might be this might be part of you wouldn't understand how this is going to go down. You take something like cleaning the ocean, there may not be a physical action that that is needed because the 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 level of uh, energetic transformation availability, you know toolkit the energetic toolkit whatever uh some of this stuff we might be doing you know like that absolutely absolutely because yeah. that's done at a consciousness level yeah. that doesn't 
mean that you don't pick up after yourself. Exactly. You know, just you have to behave as if you are already living yeah. in the new earth ascended crystalline planet. That's the thing. Like it's a vibrational match. So you treat, you know, it's that's why we do all the organic stuff because there's the, the choice of inorganic versus organic realities is also on the table. You know, yeah. and that's why like all of the commands and everything are about the pure and true organic ascension so the there's been you know there's been the the digital um yeah. thing going on as well you know which is a choice i mean you do you you have to honor all choices doesn't mean you have to participate in them and mm -hmm. that's why there's been so so much of a focus on eat organic grow organic you know honor the earth and everything so that you resonate and you, and you kind of you know prove okay i'm i'm ready to board that reality yeah 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 i mean i you know i didn't really follow that too much you know i mean i did a little bit but whenever we came over in august we stayed in organic form and i never had oh, nice. I, yeah i never ate corn you know in fact i was looking for the corn buried under the ground i didn't know it grew up here that's how much <laughs> i <laughs> <laughs> that's true but but i took the corn out and ate it right there and it, and it was so good i was like oh my god and i would go out every day and like eat two of them you know i mean what's that and even now i can't eat it, it the organic the tomato everything I, pretty much i can't eat it if it's not organic i can tell my body just says no right. can't do it you know so yeah this is exciting i mean i would imagine for you i mean i know i probably asked you this before but god look how much it's changed and, and you can say oh in the last month but no i'm not in the last week in the last few days you've been waiting a long long time you're getting some high level information but to see this thing taken on a physicality and you're actually seeing people getting it you know that are not even necessarily in these circles i gotta tell you though brother it's not like a, a waiting thing for mm -hmm. me I don't know something has changed definitely in the last especially in the last couple of years i've just like fine-tuned mm -hmm. a lot of these energies and i'm going through embodiment which gives you a completely different perspective on this whole thing because you're feeling all of your different multi-dimensional aspects at the same time yeah so it's i mean you still have the physical experience of laying in bed and you know here come the arcturians i'm like oh, yeah yeah <laughs> you know kind yeah of or the guides or the realms or I'm like, oh, I'm not even asleep yet, wait, you know, kind of thing at night um, for, you know, all this, all the other stuff that goes on. But there's really like this, it's like we used to look at the, the timeline for ascension and then everybody was so obsessed with the solar flash for a while. Mm. You know, it got, that was popular part of the conversation, probably still is. And then last, uh, just last December and through this year, people have been having these solar flash experiences where you're out in the sun and all of a sudden it's it's like nothing. And I want to emphasize this, <laughs> emphasize this, <laughs> it's not like anything else you've had. So if you had a really full body activation in the past, it's not like that. It's oh, wow. above and beyond. You feel like oh my goodness, this is the moment I am going. And it just, it, it's com mm. completely, it, it's not its not even like you dissolve into light. It's just like all of a sudden you're, you're gone and you could feel yourself going. It's really wild and it's solar, it's solar based. So you're, it feels like you'll, you'll connect with the sun, all of a sudden your heart, and the solar beingness, which is a huge network, that's why I capitalized Sunday Solar Unified Network. You connect with that Stargate system and all of a sudden you'll feel, and it looks like the sun is exploding and you'll have your eyes closed. So this is all, you know, in vision. And all of a sudden it's like, gets brighter and brighter and brighter, surrounds you completely. Of course, part of us is, is, is left with the with the sun before we come in here so it's like this unification of that and you just feel like from head to toe you're completely disappearing and it lasts wow. for maybe 10 20 minutes 
and you just lay there as still as possible, try not to freak out. You know, it's happened to me a couple of times and you just pace yourself, you breathe through it. You're like, oh my gosh. And then you feel like you're not breathing at all. Like you're not, it's just, you, you're just, there's, there's nothing. It's just, wow. it's, it's really wild. And this keeps happening to people. And then you feel like a complete rewrite of your consciousness when you come out of it. It's like wow. this huge, and some people are calling it, um, you know, a galactic activation or crystalline activation or full body, body Christed activation. But it's at, when I asked about it after it happened to me, they're like, you are getting a taste of the solar flash, the solar flash, that solar activity. It has been going on for years now. It's just that our consciousness is ready for the full body, full consciousness experience of that. So we're actually grounding that. Mm. It's always going to be anchor points for zero point, for new mm. experiences, for ascension. We're, we are actually anchoring that in because we're all one. Anchoring yeah. that in at, at a quantum level, that experience, so that we can describe it to people saying, in that moment you know if you want to have that moment because i was guided go outside right now lay down i got this padded lounge chair it's awesome you just lay there and they were like focus heart connected to the sun and all of a sudden wow so i hadn't wild. heard of this so wild and i have had like 20 reports um from from people in my tribe that have had that experience now and i'm sure the, that it's happening to thousands yeah. of star yeah. seeds, you know, because I'm like, well, it's not just us, you know. Yeah. But um, seems to happen more with people who are working with their DNA because it is a, a DNA rebundling. You know, yeah. that's a lot of light when you're reconnecting with your solar star self. And of course, as star seeds seems like it would be logical that star seeds would start anchoring that experience. But I also know that because we started seeing this in December, all right, that's part of that timeline experience. So perhaps thousands of people will have a connected global experience of this at some point this year, which is wonderful. Yeah. But I have to say again, you know, that perspective of really opening up like, yeah, there's that, but it's not an end point. Right. This is all consistent birthing right. and We've gone, you know, I was told by my teams years ago, you guys overshot the mark for this whole Ascension thing. It's not a 5D thing. It's not a 7D thing, 9D, 12D, like all those layers have already been landed and anchored by the gatekeepers and grid workers. 12 just hit in 2018. So those, all those different realms, you know, Gaia says, I have seven different realms for you to play with right now you know, from 7D up, you know, this 5D is already here. It's already landed. Mm -hmm. You got yeah. enough people running that, that, uh, that level already. So there's, there's this wild expansion yeah. that we're all going into. So when you have that perspective, you're, you're just, you know, there's the day to day mm -hmm. being the human, you know, it's great. But the bigger perspective is like, I mean, I wake up with this smirk on my face. Yeah. yeah. You know, and sometimes yeah. you feel a little guilty. You're like, I know people are having a hard time and some days I'm having a hard time or whatever. But I'm just, I mean, when I wake up and I'm grinning from ear to ear, I'm just like, okay, something's going mm -hmm. on. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of giggling, a lot of laughing. Yeah. And, uh, and I spent uh, about a day on Tuesday, maybe really a day and a half, in here in the RV just being alone. And Jeez, um, it was rough. I know that's the day that all that happened, right? And uh, and the night before, Merlin came in, and so I'm out in the RV by myself mm -hmm. all day, and Merlin was with me the entire time, right? And there was all this stuff going on. Anyway, it's not to get into all of it, but um, at one point, I kept hearing nine. I'm like, what? And it's like nine, ninth dimension. I'm like, what? What does that mean? So I asked, and then I was told that the same thing you were told, the same thing you just said. I was told, you guys aren't going into 5D. This thing just goes <laughs> like that. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. from what's been shared, um, like 9D, you, uh, the, at a consciousness level, is like where a pure state of unity consciousness 
can be maintained by a collective. Mm. So it's, uh, and that was Arcturian Intel from a few years ago. They were like, no, we operate from a 90 state. We're unified. We yeah. can project as single individuals into your consciousness so you can grok the Arcturians are here in my bedroom yeah. or whatever, you know, but we actually don't need to live on a star. We don't need a light ship. We don't need any of that. We're yeah. unified yeah. at that level. And I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, yeah. oh, that's that's a good thing to shoot for because I know like the divine human genome has that has that code. It's not, you know, the Christed slash crystalline slash unity consciousness, they all mean the same thing. Um, so how, however you want to label it, like that's encoded into our DNA. So the more of us that are going, yes, I would I would like to activate that and work consciously on that you can see like then the timelines open up okay there's a whole bunch of people creating that experience yeah and all all intentions of purity and highest service and everything are honored so we're getting our our creations are starting to manifest again the yeah. physicalization of those higher creations and we were playing with the formless realms back in 2015 16 can't remember anymore it all kind of blends together but uh but you saw you know you saw the our higher levels kind of coordinating like all right if this is going to happen that's going to happen you know the you get the bigger perspective on where the timelines actually disappear you know they they all just you know some collapse altogether yeah. the other ones merge and then it's like I always said, you know, the primary Christed timelines don't feel like timelines. You lose you lose the linear completely because you're not imprinting your timeline with memory anymore. You're just open and flow. Yeah, and that's kind of how the days go. You know, you wake up, and like you go through all the stuff you go through. Stuff comes in, you know, stuff occurs, and you learn things, and you think you're all clever. <laughs> and then you wake up and... <laughs> You wake up the next morning and it's like somebody took an eraser and just erased everything and, you, and you're like that going, fun. yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> like, okay, new, new, new day, new rules. Uh, another thing, like, I know, like over here, since we've been here, thank you, the sister Karen. Uh, so it's like, you know, every place seems to be set up perfectly for all of us. I mean, we're setting this thing up. So this is like a portal and all these things have happened. And but recently there's been a couple of uh, scenarios where we've kind of hit like this exactness of zero point, you know, like masculine, feminine, but externalized. And, it, and it's like, it's like going into like a, a dimension, yeah. but your eyes are open, you know, and there's like, no walls and they're swirling around and, 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 and it's, it's a really powerful energetic <clears throat> experience. Like the one that happened like two or three nights ago, mm. I had to get up. I said, I gotta, I gotta go throw up, you know, like this went on for like oh. half an hour and I was like, yeah. Holy. So I laid down on the tile in the bathroom, you know, like mm. just laid out yeah, trying to like get my equilibrium. And I asked the questions and, and I heard, you're not you're fine <laughs> you're not going to puke your body just <laughs> your body just took in a whole bunch of stuff and it's just yeah. having a, a tough time with it so that's wild because i had a very similar experience uh tuesday you're talking like monday night into tuesday or tuesday i believe night. this was yeah so tuesday was the crazy day this would have been monday i think yeah monday night monday yeah. night yeah i had i had um uh something similar going on. I was just, um, I have shungite cylinders. Mm -hmm. And when, when there is that really strong energy, it was like midnight or something here. And uh, I had been knocked out for a couple of hours, woke up all of a sudden, just like wide awake. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, the, the wave, the energy, everything, all the adjustments coming in. And um, got, got, like you said, got really nauseous. I always take my shungite cylinders and hold them like lay on them you know just wow. kind of hold them as i as i try to uh integrate and of course nausea is always associated yeah. with dna activation yeah. too so yeah yeah the, very I, yeah the, I think in the last two weeks both of us 
um, have had massive, I mean, we've, we're constantly having the DNA thing going, but, but the last couple of weeks there was, a, there were some incidents, you know, and it's got to me to the point where I'm like going, okay, what are they, what's going to happen when people are walking around and you can clearly see the, the, you know, the crystalline, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, this it's is like, sparkly now. I know. yeah. So, so what's going to happen then? You know, I mean, like, that's why I keep going everywhere I look. It's like you talked about the dominoes, but it's like somebody stuck a little cog in the machine and went like that <laughs> and everything's being affected. There's yeah. nobody on the face of the earth, bad actor, whatever, that's not being affected, you know, and I'm just wondering how long is it going to take? before some leader of a country or of a company just goes on TV and puts her hands in there and goes, uh, I'm just as clueless as you are. You know, we don't have a, you know, we're just dealing with ourselves. That's all we can do. You know, speaking the same language we're all speaking. I just wonder how long it can be avoided. I don't know. It just seems like there's enough energetic shifts and enough stuff happening right now behind the scenes that it will, yeah. at some push will come to shove. Yeah. You no, know, and we have people in place who are really good at speaking their mind, no matter what. So. Yeah. True. 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 That. <laughs> and then the other thing to remember too is like, you know, everything that's happening, we've already, it's already happened in the energetic field. Yes. So, so we're kind of watching like a rerun, not a rerun, but a delayed, you know, a delayed uh, viewing. But that, that time is getting closer and closer, I think, too, because another thing I picked up on in the last couple of weeks doing the, doing the show and in my own experience has been these lucid dreams. They're like, they're like, you know, it's like I can remember the lucid dreams in great detail, more than one a night, better than I can remember what I did yesterday. I mean, right. it's, it's that clear. So true. So yeah. true. Yeah, a lot of people having kind of blackout sleep or the need for uh, a nap and then another nap. And then, you know, there's, mm -hmm. it depends on how you integrate the energy. Certainly Tuesday, I had back-to-back -back sessions all day. And wow. in between every session, I was like, come on. Come yeah, on. yeah, I've had that. I've you had know, that happen like, here. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm fine when I'm in session, but then, yeah. you know, that's me. I'm like, Oh dear God, I'm so yeah, tired. That's me. That kind of thing, um, and yeah. that's you know that's just part of the journey at this yeah. point. There's no, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate people whining about symptoms or anything like that. No. Um, so it's just it is what it is. You know, it's like yeah. uh, adjustments. Well, However, the the cool thing that um, that I am extremely excited about, especially with the frequencies that came in this week, is that. Uh, but, you know, part of the, the unfoldments on the radar was this, this triple eclipse gateway period that mm. we have coming up really empowering and amplifying, boosting, bolstering the embodiers. So for people who have chosen, I want the awareness of my multidimensional self, not just the higher yes. self, but the whole shebang. Yes. You know, and the consistent, and that does, it, it makes the walls go away. Like you said, you know, it does, it affects your perception. And that's part of the learning curve is like, all right, everything feels really surreal. And then you notice things starting to disappear, a lot of phenomena, a lot of seeing and yeah. uh, your lucid dreams are way more amplified than the waking reality. You know, there's, there's definitely learning curves there. But this passage coming up, I'm very excited about that because that's been like at a brotherhood, sisterhood level coming in since last year. And along with that focus, it's June 5th through um, right through Independence Day. Um, oh, is that right? Some very amplified energies coming in with this triple eclipse, some... Um, some very interesting thing things happening and like uh like everyone who is in uh my position being a very responsible creator and saying just set yourself up for highest best case yeah. scenario stay stay focused no no focusing on you know trying to crush things or or yeah. whatever it's just that's not 
the state of consciousness we need to be in. We're no. just taking the the higher road on everything. And I'm I'm just I'm very excited about it. Again, I'm I'm very excited about this year. Me too. What's happening. Me too. It's so wonderful. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. I mean, uh, and I've and I and that's interesting. You say that too about the uh, the asking because. I, and I just thought that I, you know I've been doing that, and and I don't even know why I started doing that. I was like, you know what? I want I want it more. I want it all. I want it all. And like so, we lay down. I always keep my eyes open, and I was like, ten days ago, I was like, okay, I want to see you clearly. I I want to I want I have the right to know. I'm I'm here. I'm doing the work. Yeah. <laughs> and so they were like, uh, you don't want to see us right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? And and then, so they injected me with that, you know. And I went, oh no, I don't. <laughs> so, but then, <laughs> oh, no. but then, like ten days later, uh, I don't know if I asked them, but I knew the room filled up immediately, and I was like, oh, now this was a DNA deal. But anyway, I I had said to them, and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna come in, we're gonna we're gonna. And so about six or seven of them are in there, and two of them came right up to my face right mm -hmm. and they were humanoid in it but their faces were you know other star family you know area or something but anyway like two or three of them like bent over me and they were working on me and i could feel it and i was yes. like oh my god thank yeah. you thank you you know so yeah. my point is is that in and i i can only speak for myself but i should know by now even beyond before my awakening anytime i've asked i always receive it and and I, and I guess that's what i'm saying right now i'm noticing it's quick it's just quick like it's the the veils are gone i mean you can ask and you get it you know i i went to bed the other night i said i don't know why i'm saying this but can you you guys uh, you know beam me up to the to the uh the healing chamber arcturian mm. Mm -hmm. I wake up the next day. I can't even walk. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, no. <laughs> like my kidney was hurting. You know, my back. I thought, oh, yeah. that's what it was, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. legit. Totally. No, Arcturians are really skilled healers. Mm. If anybody's in need of healing, uh, establish your relationship with them because that's. Uh, I'm. I'm, and even. I mean, I've had days where I'm walking around like I'm 150 or something. I'm like, oh, dear God, you know, yeah. <laughs> like the adjustments or whatever. Mm. And I'm like, can we just even this out tonight? Thank you. You know, and mm. you give, sometimes you can see it. It's like kind of like a, almost like a, I won't say coffin, a chamber. It's like a plasma mm. thing. They put, it's like all sealed up, very glistening, very crystalline kind of thing. Um, and and for people who are looking for contact you know it's like just just keep it clean you know highest level healers yeah. available to me in this now moment yes. so they swap out all the time yes. you don't get the same beings a year after year after year it's always different no because it's, it's like a specialist you know yeah and it's like you said you lay down you, it's almost like you know what what's going to be tonight that's what happens you know and you were I talking know. about the so I think right before this past week, so like say in the maybe a week to 10 days leading up to it, there was a lot, and I don't know if, if you've got any info on this, but there was, there were these crystalline beings, right? There was a crystalline, a couple of crystalline dragons, but I didn't see the dragons. She saw the dragons, but when I lay down, I saw this group of crystalline beings and they were forming like a like a semicircle right circle right right and i yeah because i couldn't see the back i don't know if it may have been a circle but so i'm looking at them i'm going holy shit you know i said this is a big one i can feel it and then she started channeling and it was a it was the, it was them and it was just fantastic but there was like a i can't remember the the theme of what that that connection was but but it was it was something that was huge. I mean, it was like huge. Like this is a big, big piece here. Take it, integrate that for a few days and get ready. Yeah. And yeah. you know, then Tuesday came. Right, right. And and last year, I don't know. It's just been consistent, where it's just like the and, and for me, I've I've had. There's been so many times where it's just like I almost feel like I'm 
unplugged. You know, it's like you're needed upstairs, vroom, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. just like out and two hours. And it doesn't feel like sleep because it's so active and I'm going through this gate and doing this and under here and over there and everything. And, and you like come out of that and you're like, can I like drink some water now? Like, yeah. okay. You know, it's wild. It's just a wild yeah. time. And it's nothing that anyone should be, um, you know, fearful of or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the experiences that we have as way showers and everything are just anchoring energies and doing the work. Yeah. You do so much work beyond the veil. You just have to trust it, you know, and now our, our contact and working with these beings and everything, like I feel so in, in my power you know and yeah. in and the, the freedom that comes with that too i'm like wow this is i'm really getting all of myself back understanding how it feels to be uh the the bigger yeah self yeah. and it's so compassionate there's yeah no egoic anything even the emotional stuff is just like it's nothing mm -mm. it's nothing and you know, it's just, and and there's like this thing too, where I'm starting to understand that I'm basically recognizing the alignment of everything. Well, I've moved away from forcing anything and yeah. like this whole thing with the network, um, you know, we started it, we, we, we came over here, our brother's house burned down that stopped it. And, you know, but everybody had the same kind of perspective. Like this was, not what it looks like we were meant to start this this way we weren't ready to do this yet and all that so as um we're not we're not we didn't know what we we're gonna do and so we're both looking at each other like oh you know what we're going back into the month come hell or high water we just know we got to go and then all these things started happening and i called my brother up and i'm like dude uh a b c d e it's all went like that and and and, and so it used to be because of the old behavioral pattern, you're like, well, I got to go do this and I got to go do that. But it, this is not how it works. It's just like, mm -hmm. oh, there's the sign. There's another sign. Just keep walking that direction. Mm -hmm. And it's that's nice because that's a lot. There is no worry in that in that mode. Right. Right. Yeah. And it balances. You know, the, the other thing is the more that we get into um, the, the new crystal and earth flows, and allow that to occur. And every time a resistance comes up or anything like that, it's like, shh. Yeah. We're done with that. You know, yes. Balances the people yes. who are extremely worried about things that just will not happen. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. And I notice that when, when something, when an old thought pattern will come in, it just goes out. It just like will come in. And I had to sit here and think about it right now, but I started noticing that, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. Boom, it's gone. You know, it, it's not like they sink in anymore. It's really weird. That's one thing. And then the other thing you said that kind of reminded me was this flighty feeling. Like, I feel like I'm about to fly, you know, like I'm about to just like, yeah. I feel light, I guess is what it is, very, very nice. light. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so I'll have like this little movie screen way out here on my peripheral in my you know in my third eye like another planet or something like another you know what i mean i'm like yeah. whoa which is one of the things i've been asking for i've been like okay i want to remember them all so i can have that because i know i have that accessibility mm -hmm. i want it to be conscious and this thing starts playing i'm like oh right. what is that what's happening right. you know so this yeah. is cool this kind of stuff coming in yeah, and I love that perspective too mm. of it's no longer um, a catchphrase or, mm. uh, well, yes, this is going to happen during your ascension process. You will be aware of all of your multidimensional aspects yes. at once. You know, it's like, how many times can you say that before all yes. of a sudden you start experiencing it and you're like, hold yes. on, something happening? Mm. <laughs> right, right. Hold on, just a second. You know, we're, we're integrating that awareness because eventually you'll be able to it's like a whole bunch of it's it's like when the third eye opens you see a whole bunch of tv screens you know yeah. it's just like a whole bunch of screens of all this different stuff happening um but you'll be able to to be aware of that and yeah and i've noticed that with masters too i don't know if you've ever been in the in the presence of like one of the ascended masters or whatever 
like they'll look at you but you can see like they're everywhere right yeah it's so wild like maybe merlin has that energy yeah. too he's like um and you know merlin will come in for like sometimes when i'm creating things or whatever and he could just kind of puts my work in this big crystal ball and he just goes, hmm, you know, kind yeah. of like watching what I'm doing or whatever. But he's like, his eyes are like mm -hmm. you know, a very Krishna type thing. It's like you see the multiverse in their eyes, you know, it's like, oh yeah, because you're lucidly aware of like everything that's going on. And I love, love, love that. And, yeah. and again, the physicalization of a lot of this stuff, like Sunday, my refrigerator broke. Time for a fast, you know. It was just like I had heard, time for a fast, time for a fast, and then I didn't do it Saturday. And then here comes Sunday Unity meditations, and I get up in the morning and I open my my refrigerator has turned into a freezer, froze everything, oh, wow. ruined. Right? I'm like, and the fast begins now. You know, yes. kind of thing. Just you know, these little little we, things. Are we got that la uh, last week, in the end of last week. I think it was Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, time to fast in preparation for uh, cellular transformation. You know, exactly. uh, I think it's what they said. She started Thursday. I waited. I wanted to clear the fridge out, and then I started Friday. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the 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 rest. Like I'm not going to make any excuses for naps. Like if I feel like I got to go down, I go down, and I do the same thing you do. Like I don't do sessions, but I do the show, so I can be like. I can be like totally off planet and then I flip it on and I can do it mm -hmm. somehow. Right. And then I get off and I go lay down, but the, the, the rest, the water, I've been drinking a lot of coconut water mm -hmm. and um, you know, and then I think the, the, the diet and I know everybody's probably different, but my, but, but, but one thing I'm picking up from people and for myself is that my body's telling me go get an avocado, you know, like, Yes. go get some beets um you know a lot of greens um uh you know and and, it, and, it, and i'm i'm listening i'm absolutely listening that's the thing yeah. and you know what happens when you don't yes your refrigerator I, I freezes with that <laughs> i <laughs> that and it's just like well no i've yeah. got you know the brussels sprouts or whatever i'll just make those tonight because yeah. they're there kind of thing and the body is like resisting and i'm like no, no. we'll be fine it's yeah terrible Terrible, yes right oh just yeah like the, the body is just um because it's integrating so many different frequencies again physicalization of the etheric the embodiment process everything that we're yeah. going through like your body will not give you a choice no when, when and and that's no. the thing with the consciousness too because the body consciousness is separate it's not yes us. It's just That's the vehicle right. through which we have an experience, right? And when it is being told from on high, do something different, it's gonna do that. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna need to be completely disconnected so that you yourself can work on your body. A lot a lot of people perceive, oh, it's the you know, the healers or the other beings, like you don't even realize you're staring yourself in the face when they show up. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, hi, I'm your Arcturian aspect. Okay. Yes. You know, and I prefer to be out cold when they're working on me, but they start before I'm, I'm like, I'm not even asleep yet, you know, and <laughs> moving stuff around or whatever. I'm just like, and, but that's me. That's the other mm. thing is just like, stop thinking of all these beings as like separate, you know, it's, I know, us. I know, and that's and I and I marvel with that at, in the room at night sometimes because I'll watch the like the cellular makeup of mine, and then I see hers, you know, and she's like blue and pink or blue magenta, right? Mm, yeah. And I'll watch them start going, and I think, well, how does this work? Yeah. And it was me on my own, you know, and I was doing my thing. I had these experiences, you know, mm -hmm. full blown. But now you do it with somebody else or others, two or more, you know, mm -hmm. this is a whole different kind of thing. So what am I looking at? Is that like one time we had a monad came and, and the there was 12 of them. And so one of them stepped up and said, I'm the both of you in one body. And this mm -hmm. is, we're at this level monad and, and, uh, we're going to have a discussion. So, I, and I think to myself, because that's just how I'm built. Like, how does this work? Are we? I, I, there's only me, so that that keeps it really simple. But now I've externalized this other 
and and how does this work you know who is that her is it me i don't know <laughs> but it is all me the yeah. fun thing for 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 me this year which has been really rewarding for everything that we've been through you know i've been uh, awake since 99 i mean as a child too but went to sleep for a while and then came back mm. but but working on this ascension process and everything the experiences that i'm having of um a unity with with source yeah um is is really profound for me because that is like the ultimate peace and the ultimate no separation everything that zero point sense of yeah. source being consistent like it doesn't matter where my linear attention may go or what i'm working on or whatever that is just there on yeah. on 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 just like a constant flow mm -hmm. and my uh, again the experiences of zero point have been really rewarding because i'll i'll drop into that state and like the first couple times i i hit that it's almost like it's almost like your the mental level goes we got there you're like damn it go back you know yeah, back into, yeah. you know but back into no thought you know you get excited the, uh, the first couple of times and then like once you once you anchor that experience and you're able to breathe into it or the breath stops altogether yeah that i started playing with okay if that is the point from which all the pure creation is born and everything what if you set you know a, a, a loose intention to plant the seed before you go in and then yes. you go in and plant the seed and there i've seen like just you know starbursts and explosions and just you know the kind of implosion that comes with zero point and then the explosion i was just like ooh, this is cool because you start to feel into how source is creating and there's uh and there's no beings and there's nothing there that's yeah. the thing like there's yeah. no beings there's just this pure presence of source and it's not even it's like a, a a kind a kind of love that is so non-human yeah uh it's just and it's i i know i mean we get into poetry and stuff you know to try to describe it in these realms but there's nothing like the experience no. so no mm -mm. have you had uh like i i feel like i'm i'm getting like i'm two people like i'm i'm split i'm split i'm i'm like two like like there's one part of me that's like watching the human part of me mm -hmm. And the human part of me can kind of see the other part of me. And I noticed a lot on these shows. Like I had two yesterday out of the four. One was with Judith, and I don't remember. I think the other one was Mary Rodwell. And mm -hmm. I, the entire time I'm doing the show, I see, I can see their higher self. Mm -hmm. And then I'm talking to the human. And it's right. like, not going away like i'll have flashes of something like that happening or i might see your higher self or, or something will imagery will pass through but to actually have it in my face the whole time yeah. so then i'm going okay well who's looking at that one and I, and then i and i feel like i'm split you know like like or maybe i'm coming together or something i don't know but but i can actually oh, feel like you know, hmm? Yeah, it feels like more higher self perspective than lower self perspective. I don't know. I'm getting more like I, I noticed in my sessions too, like the the stuff that goes on on a quantum level at like higher self, I am presence level, Christed level, hmm. is so active, and it's just like we're playing, talking back yes. and forth on the screen, and you and your you know whatever linear yeah. questions they have, and then explaining and the live stream and all that stuff. But like the other thing that's happening with like my higher levels and their higher levels yeah. and everything, I'm like, good God, you know, yeah. like look at what's, and it has, a, a lot of it has nothing to do with Gaia. It's like yeah. way beyond. It's just yeah. like, oh, we're adjusting these solar systems right now. You know, I'm like, oh, dear God. You know, <laughs> and it's, but again, there is, there is that higher and lower self sensation. Mm -hmm of just like like you and I are talking right now we're probably you know reconnecting stargates and sector yeah. 9 or whatever you know it's just yeah. whatever's going on i'm just like i you know arturian level 
definitely totally on during this whole thing because they've come up way too many times and uh and the other thing was too on on uh, monday night when we were all going through that i was um uh, again i have very lucid experiences of all the stuff that's going on um let's say um subterranean stuff that's going on right now yeah. and uh and there were all these like um pink envelopes with all this arcturian graphics and like arcturians lately have been giving people a lot of mathematical type formulas i've noticed in the last couple months coming up so that's coming in stronger our awareness of that and and uh you know just the that kind of connection so i was like well and then i kind of take a look who am i going to connect with this week yeah what's going on you know kind of thing so i just kind of pull back and i'm like oh okay so you know todd morgan yeah i work on that stuff yeah i and i do that uh, i do that i'll i'll pull up the their higher self you know sometimes the night before usually when i'm getting ready during the day and i'll just kind of like connect and then other things will happen Mm. like something just happened before we came on like i was standing in the rv and i felt like and there wasn't any wind and it felt like not an earthquake but it felt like i was like spinning yeah right and i thought and the first time it happened i thought what what was that and the second time it happened, I thought, I wonder if that's Sandra. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought something just like plopped down in here and the, and the whole place started spinning, you know. Uh, and I've had that happen before with other people. Like a light will come in or, you know, or some kind of energy will make itself known, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah, we're, we, are, we, are, we are what we always thought we were. But now, like you said, it's actually happening. So it's a little bit different than talking about it. <laughs> and we're so I, I don't know about you but i feel um there's such a, a beautiful neutrality you know detached yeah. compassion um from that perspective even i noticed like the sunday unity meditations you know we've been doing for four years yeah. so we have a lot of practice a lot of connection a lot of things happening and during the the earlier meditations uh just last weekend i was guided to do some DNA activations. I'm like, all right, everyone's connected right now. Anyone who needs it, and you don't have to be meditating. Here's the here's the thing. Like, I there, there's somebody who is unaware of the meditations. Like three people wrote me that during the during the meditation windows that they weren't even aware of. I came to them. Yeah. And was doing activations and activating their DNA and everything, and they're not even aware. That that's a protocol or an intention or that we're working on dna super radiance during the unity meditations now and it's just like that that to me is like oh cool because it's kind of like when i was on shasta and people would see me on shasta and i wasn't there you know kind of thing i'm like cool so again physicalization of the etheric is one of the themes this year and i really feel like we're going to be able to to appear to each yes. other. Like phenomena, the yes. magnetics are changing right now. Like yes. we're doing a lot of uh, gatekeeper grid workers doing a lot of works on the, uh, working on the magnetic shifts, and it'll be part of the conversation. You'll see it starting to show up on like suspicious observers and stuff. I'm sure Ben's going to start mentioning it more because every time we start working on it, they're like, "Oh, magnetic anomaly," mm-hmm. and all this stuff. You know, starts to come into. Um, at people's awareness but i really feel like it's because of the new stargate systems and everything it opens up all these different portals in gaia that haven't been open in a long time for for us to experience have a different experience you know to be able to visit each other and i do yeah. feel like by being separated right now it's actually strengthening those skills you know we're able to jump around a lot more and we're like eh, who needs the yeah. You know, who needs the linear? Did you know, did you write about that? Because I know I just read about this the star the stargates, and you talked about it at the beginning of the show too. But and maybe it was Judith yesterday. But mm-hmm. the, these stargates, I don't know if it was you that I was reading or I was her or both. But the, but it was my understanding that these stargates were natural stargates mm-hmm. that just have been shut down that are now yeah. open. Right. right, and this just occurred recently, right? And this is what you're getting since into. January, since okay. January thirteenth, that's been okay. 
which I remember that. And, yeah, I remember that day. Yeah, yeah, that was and, a big. I mean, they've been they've been like kind of opening and closing, mm -hmm. and like when I went to Mono Lake, say like last last year for that whole Freedom Code clearing thing, that was a, an organic Stargate that was literally just sitting there, and I was and I was told to to open it. But the whole reactivation of this organic Stargate system that goes, that's multiverse. That, yeah. That's like con yeah. reconnecting us to the cosmic web in a brand new way. Um, but there's a lot, of, a lot of those gates that have been shut down for a long time that are starting yeah. to open and brand new ones. So yeah. everyone who's been traveling around and placing the crystals and establishing this new earth crystalline grid that then merged with the crystalline off-planet grid uh, a couple of years ago. That's that's the stuff that's bringing in brand new Stargate flows. Yeah. So it's not just through the solar Stargates. It's like reconnecting star systems and galaxies and very. Yeah, yeah I think it was. I think it was Monday. I was talking to Franco on Monday, and a lot of times when I'm doing these shows, things will come back to me. But I had gone on a gone on a walk or a couple of walks. Either it would have been Sunday or maybe it was Monday. I don't remember. So when I went out, I was passing through this park down the street, and I started getting this download. And it was basically like telling it was telling me, "Hey, I couldn't see it. A little bit maybe in the third eye, but it was almost like a um, like a pyramid shape, like a really elongated pyramid crystal pyramid shape." And what I was told was, "Was like okay." there when your frequency gets to a certain point you're going to actually see these stargates or portals i don't remember the name of what they called it and they and they were telling me that you'll be able to step into them and they're you know they're interdimensional doorways you know or of some sort and and that two people could actually be standing there. Like if somebody's standing there and they can't see it, they would actually see you just kind of disappear. Right. And, and I, you know, I'm walking to them. Well, why am I getting this information? But then again, there was a, that was around Tuesday. So there was all this stuff was in the air, but yeah. so, and then somebody had mentioned it and I think you might've written it and, uh, and you mentioned the, the top of the show, but somebody else, I think it was Judith yesterday. So that's now that that's sinking in, that's like a, that's like another, you know, huge game changer. It's not like there's one game changer. It's like everything's being affected. I mean, everything's yeah. being, every, from the what we're going to eat to how we travel to how we communicate to what we do for our passion, our work, you know, I mean, how love rolls. I mean, in all that sacred wisdom that so many women like you have brought back and anchored in, that's actually, you know, got some traction now and is actually becoming a physical reality yeah and it doesn't yeah. feel like feminine masculine and to me anymore mm. you know it just it it's feels like like the balance it again you know our perception our linear perception mm. is always so far behind you know so it's yes. just like oh and again that that higher self perspective of like oh yeah this is when they realize that you know, divine mama's coming in really strong right now, you know, kind yeah. of thing in order to balance. And of course that energy just elevates and escalates the divine masculine balance, you know, yeah. and it's just like really, it, it's just beautiful. It's just really beautiful, but it does affect our perception. So people's for, for people who have been like looking at gatekeepers, like, what are you talking about stargate there's nothing there you know mm -hmm. it's like right there you know, mm -hmm. giant yeah freak, you know? yeah yeah the um, day i got here i went down to the beach and uh and right next to the sun i don't know because i don't i'm not familiar enough with the nomenclature but it, i just called it a portal it just opened there was all these colors in the sky too it was just like yeah, yeah and i was standing there looking at it and i'm looking at it for at least 20 minutes mm -hmm. and i'm looking around i'm thinking God, why isn't everybody over here standing looking at this th this thing you know and i thought am i the only one that can see it because it was huge and it was yeah. an unmistakable i mean it would be like seeing a double or triple rainbow but even right. more more bizarre right. um see i think like to me in my journey you know i'm just speaking for myself everything always gets flipped 
right? So like the minute you start thinking it works like this, it gets flipped. Or the, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Everything is like flipped. So I keep going, oh, wow. Okay. So everybody's fixated on disclosure, like secret space and, and for, you know, uh, hidden history and archaea. And, and I'm thinking, oh, this is a, there. We're getting set up. We're going to get flipped. And, and I think the real disclosure is us like these abilities, like what, like, it's like somebody that learned to, uh, to build a plane, right? Well, it was already in the energetic field. Somebody on the other side of the world starting to work on it too. But the minute somebody takes off or the minute somebody breaks four minutes in a mile, somebody else does it. And then somebody else does it. So the minute somebody's walking around and they got crystalline, you know, all over their skin and, you know, and they're levitating or whatever, the, it's just going to go boom, boom. That's why I say, I, it's yeah. this is like I think I think the universe is sitting on the edge of its seat saying, oh, my God, this is going to be good. You know, like, well, I don't even know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, and I, I love that, you know, a couple of couple decades ago, I was like, show me the, the highest, brightest thing. I always ask that. Show me the highest, brightest outcome. And I will focus on that. Yeah. And they were a little, they were like, look, there's awake to conspiracy, awake to disclosure, awake to spirit, awake to ascension yeah, uh, and transcendence, all, all that other stuff. I was like, well, I want, I want to focus on, you know, this highest level of awakening. They're like, all the other things are just steps yes. that might open you up to that. Um, uh, which is why, like, I mean, d disclosure of course has its purpose in the, in the awakening, but it's not the end game. No. No. You know, I'm like, let's look at the long, long Yeah, 5D is not even the end game. <laughs> there is not no end all. game. <laughs> it's just going to keep step. rolling. I know, yeah. that's a baby step. And it's it's yeah. fine. You know, I honor all all journeys and everything. But if I'm going to get the most bang for my buck out of, out of this incarnation, so I'm like, yeah. show me the bigger thing. Show me the bigger thing, the higher thing. And for some people, they're like, oh, you need to be in the body and just i was like well that's fine for you but i'm mm -hmm. embracing my creator state of consciousness and i get to explore whatever i like that's you right know, i earned my stripes i'm done with the whole you need to yeah. storyline that's right if they say you have to or need to i just run i just i can't <laughs> i can't do it but i had so I like along the lines of what you're talking what you're talking about i so because I'm a big, you know, the human is the hero. And, you know, I just, I love, and I'm honored that I'm here, that I'm Todd, and that this, I have this opportunity. But, I, but I'm sitting here in, in over the last couple of weeks, and I find myself, like in the old days, I would have called it daydreaming. But it's not. It's not daydreaming. And so what it is, is I'm like, I'm like looking at it, and I'm going, okay, everything that you do is energetically attached to every part of you. And the whole, you know, all the, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like, what does that mean? And so my mind starts going, I'm like, oh, what do you want to do? So if I can drill down to, to what I'm doing here and have integrity and be conscious of everything that I'm doing, then it's going to parlay out here in this other, I'm going to create a universe. <laughs> you know like a planet no no i want to create a get no i want to create a universe like imprint and i'm out there just going oh this will look like that and this will run like this and this you know and and, and so why is that happening i mean this is the just like everything else i don't think we could just take a massive dose of oh here's your multi-dimensionality have a good life and you get all your t gifts at once we would blow our mind you know so it's got to oh, be yeah. piece, got to be piecemealed out. Yeah, you don't want to fry the suit, but the or, or the consciousness. But I love that. That's always been like when I talk about creator state of consciousness. It's always been the yes and and the bigger and the more expansive. It's like, all right, now you know you're going to create a, a universe. What do you want that universe based on? You know, this one is based on unconditional love. You know, and that's mm. that's beautiful wonderful but other universes are based on other frequencies so you're mm -hmm. like well what's beyond that what's beyond that mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. that in in itself is a direct reflection 
of the source state of consciousness. You know, the creator is always about life in every possible way yeah. it can be expressed. And so when we when we do that, you know, you're actually anchoring that um, desire for the fruition of life and the exploration yeah. of life and love and consciousness that of course raises the collective vibration um, and gets us out of the stuff that's trying to control or, or um, uh, degradate or destroy life. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's part of the balance too. It's like dream your largest, you know, sit down, yes. and draw the new plants, draw the new yes. crystalline city. I've, I always felt that art was a, was yeah. the bridge. Yeah. You know, that is the bridge to the creator state of consciousness. I was just like, if you're an artist, this is your heyday. You know, yeah. we're, we're going into a highly creative realm. Yeah. So play with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I kind of put like that on practice. the back burner a little bit, but I guess this is art too. I mean, just producing stuff is an art. Yeah, Morgan pulled that in a, a two, three weeks ago. I remember she's like, I think we need to start talking in, in these conversations, talking to people about what do we want this new earth to be? Like, what do we want to create? Like, like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the, like talking about it, like putting it out there. And, and I've become more and more conscious of the things I'm saying. There's a lot of things I don't do that I did a year and two ago. Like I used to be a real, sar not real sarcastic, but funny, you know, like I thought it was funny and I would make comments, but I can't do that anymore. Right. And other things, I'm just trying to be careful about any, even if I'm joking, any self-deprecating comments like right before you came on i said let me get sandra up here so you don't have to look at my ugly face and as soon as i said it something in my head went uh-uh don't do that uh, <laughs> you know or like my hair is getting gray no don't do that you know yeah but, that's um, the thing like we're amplified right now so everything is turned yeah up. you know yeah. so it's there's a lot of hey watch it and the art the art thing too like we had that 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 incredible sculptor from sedona john solderberg i think's his name the one that did the merlin at the Whole Foods, you ever go to the Whole Foods oh, at Sedona? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's anatomically correct, by the way. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> if you look under the kilt, yeah, Morgan's <laughs> like, "Hey, look at this!" And I'm like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "You're not going to believe this." I'm like, "I don't want to look at it," you know. But, <laughs> but <laughs> he was on, and I think that's when the Merlin thing started too. Now that I think about it, Call but he me. came on, and the, I mean the absolutely the most humble unique incredible i think he is merlin right i mean this guy like grew up in afghanistan he's traveled all over the world he's like yeah. he was in the apartheid movement i mean he teaches people all over the world he does these incredible unique sculptures and just the most beautiful man you could ever meet and the the thing that that i'm getting to is that his whole life is is an art you know what i mean it's yeah. just a piece of art it's like so rich and colorful and i'm like wow so when and you that, say that's you what know we're doing yeah. you know that's what we're doing like however you can express creativity you know and and when you talk about envisioning uh we called it new earth now if anybody wants to dig into that it's on my youtube it's a um, what we did in workshops uh, a few years ago, and we called it New Earth Now. And we, mm -hmm. as a collective, you know, getting into our collective consciousness and our collective ability to create, we felt into and light grounded words and creations. And like we had a whole whiteboard full of like, this is what we're creating in the New Earth, and we want this and we want that, mm -hmm. and, and launched it into the field and felt it yeah. and sang to it and toned to it and light language and put all this energy into it. And all of us felt like the relief, like, so it is. Yes. Okay. Now we've got nothing to worry about. And the more uh, we call it light grounding, but the more of those ideas, the etheric stuff that you ground in the physical, write it down. You know, I had like a whole Back in 2011, I had this whole diary of like the new crystalline plants and the leaves would change color when you had your, your, a different mood and you would, you know, project to the flowers and they would sing back the tone that you needed for healing. Mm. Like I had this whole like weird botanical thing. And it was just like grounding these, you know, it seems like 
fantastical, but when you realize you are that magic being and that all of our lives are going to be like that, it's a different state of consciousness. It's not a grounded wake up, go to work, do Mm -hmm. my duty, go to bed. Mm -hmm. That's going away. You know, we have to realize that Gaia's 7D, 9D, 12D realms, you know, are extremely creative. They seem very surreal a lot of us had that experience like everything becoming a little surreal because you're starting to vibe yeah the new earth realms yeah yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff like that starting to happen where you know it used to be like a white flash or a dark flash you know movement Mm -hmm. and now it's a lizard (laughs) or a bird or you know these things are just like happening and and, and they like jump out at you, like you're looking at them with a telescope or a microscope. You know, I've noticed that uh, recently and, and, I, and I'm looking at it going, okay, why, why is this happening? You know, like, it's like I can see things I couldn't see before, you know, or hear things you couldn't hear before, which all makes sense, I guess. Yeah. But you're right. It's like this whole thing with the quarantine, you know, it's, that's game over because like that whole element of getting on the treadmill, going nine to five, you know, that's, that's never coming back. Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll die a slow death, I'm sure, but it's not coming back. Well, and just will try and, and they're yeah. going to be so disappointed <laughs> when yeah. they go back to work. Yeah, they won't fit. Yeah. There'll be a square peg in a round hole because now they've the had, different. yeah, they've had a taste of a little bit of self-growth and self-reflection and, and peace, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, what's that? Like, you know, I mean, I'm telling you, you walk up and down the street and people are on their porch. Some are wearing masks and they're just chilling out, listening to music, you know, just talking. Just, you know, I mean, it's like, wow, you know, it's just like a almost like a vacation kind of uh, energy. You know, people are just relaxed. And, and that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So you have the uh, you have this um, Stargate thing coming tomorrow oh yeah i'm partnering with uh lauren gailey just launched oh, yeah. a new yeah. network mm-hmm. and uh she asked me to teach a class i was like right i on. want i want to teach a 90 class so uh so i'm teaching a stargate right. class tomorrow so much fun just yeah. like a two-hour thing but um yeah. i met her the other day I, I met her she we had a phone oh, conversation cool. oh, well about her network yeah we talked yeah. we said we get it was both we're both kind of busy so we'll get back you know let's certainly collaborate but yeah she's pretty cool i'd like to have her on the show too you should yeah yeah she's she's very cool we had a we had a nice Mm -hmm. conversation it was a little bit rushed but because i had to go but uh yeah i definitely want to collaborate with her i want to thank you uh and all the women like you uh and i'm not leaving the men out i'm just saying Thank you, everybody. We need to give the due, and, and we need to support uh, your efforts and their efforts. So, you guys, I mean, visit Sandra's site. She puts out a lot of free information. I get her newsletter. Mm-hmm. That's worth gold. It's very it's very um, much real-time intel um, and relevant, and, you know, the stuff that she has to offer. So, you know, I'm just saying on the live and on the replay, think about what, uh, Sandra and her contemporaries have done for many, 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 many years. And when there was no support <laughs> and when it was a, yeah, a lonely <laughs> road, you know? So Can't yeah, let's, remember. yeah. <laughs> so Can't let's pay it forward. This is the new commerce, you know, pay it forward, show your support. It comes right back to you. And, uh, yeah. and that's another factor. Cause I'm seeing that happen, you know, like, like, I don't even worry anymore. Like, if the bill comes, I pay it. And the, and the minute I pay it, something comes back. You know, it's like mm-hmm. there's something going on. It's it's the new equation. So, But thank you, Sandra, for for everything you've done. And uh, thank you for coming on and being our friend and collaborating. I look forward to many, many more collaborations. And I hope to see you in September. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. You Wonderful. take care. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>